All right, so we're getting the first $200 million zombie movie, the first major budgeted zombie movie. How does it stack up? I followed World War Z through the production, and like everybody knows now, it experienced some troubles, and it appeared very early on that this was not going to be very close to the Max Brooks novel. It seemed like it was being proposed, or it looked from the trailers like it was a Brad Pitt star vehicle, and you know, alright, whatever. I wasn't very excited for World War Z. I haven't yet read the novel, which I want to, but I want to see this movie first. Even though it's not quite the movie I envisioned from like concept art and stuff, like an actual, like a war with these zombies, it was an alright movie. I don't really need to explain the plot, but it really wasn't even that strong to begin with. It was just kind of there, which was, you know, zombies attack out of nowhere, and Brad Pitt is called in, I guess. I guess he just, you know, whatever. He, he knows how to fix stuff. And he has to find a way to stop it. Now, if you're going into this movie, just, I guess, don't take it really that seriously. Just, in, I mean, I guess you couldn't really from the trailers anyway, because it looks kind of cartoonish. Uh, just, you can have a good time with this movie, but in the end, I thought it was just kind of forgettable. It was, it was just okay. The plot just keeps basically moving from you know, country to country while Brad Pitt's wife and children are just on a boat somewhere. Now let's talk about that. Brad Pitt, I haven't seen him in the movie since probably Moneyball. And that's a, that's a little disappointing, but um, he's a great actor. I love the guy. I love some of his movies. Actually, a good amount of his movies. And uh, this movie, though, you know, he did an alright job. He just, I don't think he was doing anything special in particular. He was just, he was just kind of going with the flow. And if you just take this movie as an action movie, you know, some of the action set pieces are actually pretty well done. The CG actually looks better from the tra than the trailer. And uh, the zombies, they still move really fast. And you know what? I have to say, I really don't care about the whole zombie debate. But I think I actually do prefer the slower zombies. There's just something about their, like, the, the mood and the atmosphere of, um, of, in a movie of seeing these, these slow, creeping zombies. And it does seem more realistic, obviously. Um, but anyway, ignoring all that... They were, they were alright. They were kind of cool. Uh, but I wasn't a huge fan of them. Uh, but the CG does look better. The action at times, there were some actually some pretty cool shots. I just wish those had lasted longer, these action scenes. Uh, in particular, there's uh, like a rainy kind of scene, which it, it was alright. I think the mood was set, but the action didn't deliver. But there was this scene, of course, where you see it in the trailer, where they're like climbing up a big wall, and there's like helicopters sweeping in. That was actually pretty badass. And everybody's talking about like the final scene, which you really don't see in the trailer, which is when they're kind of sneaking around um, the building, this facility, and it's kind of more stealthy. And uh, for these fast zombies, I think that was actually a smart move. But in the end, World War Z just kind of felt bland at times, and like not really, it didn't really have an aim, and not really much was going on. You don't really get much character development or story development. It's just, it, it is what it is. And the ending, it was, it was interesting, I'll say that. For a zombie movie, it was, it was different. It felt a little rushed, which it was, but, uh, you know what? Why not? So, World War Z, you can enjoy it, and, uh, you know, if you went to, like, an early matinee, you know, whatever, that, that, that'd be fine. I uh, yeah, that'd be fine. I'm giving you permission. Uh, but I'd say, in the end, it's, you know... I didn't regret seeing it, but I wouldn't exactly rush out to the theater to see it, so it'd be probably be more of a rental, I'd say. Um, it's an okay time, and uh, yeah, I, ho I hope you enjoy it. It's not nearly as bad as I thought it would be. I hope you like this review. Subscribe if you enjoy the reviews and you want to see more, and like that video, you know, like below, <laughs> and uh, comment what you thought about World War Z if you enjoyed it. Uh, tell me what, you, what else you're going to see. Tell, just let's, let's talk. What did you like or not like about the movie? Let us know.